I just got off the phone with a sister in Christ who is in a rehab. Recently she fell and broke both of her wrists and has a compression fracture in her spine. She shared with me that this morning a young lady came into her room to help her with some things, a volunteer at the rehab, and this young girl was sharing with this sister that she was suicidal. As it was, this sister in Christ had been suicidal at one time and had tried to take her life many years ago. God uses all things together for the good. And this sister was able to share Christ and the hope and life that can be found in him with a young girl who is experiencing the hopelessness that she had experienced herself years ago. Praise God, the Lord stopped this sister at that time and actually opened her eyes, showed her the spiritual realm around her, the demonic that were mocking her immediately after she had taken an overdose of some pills. And I pray that the same God that did that will do the same thing for this young girl, that he will show her the truth, that he will show her where her battle is and who her battle is with. Perhaps you have felt this as well, the hopelessness, the dismay that comes from living in a world that seems to sometimes do nothing but tear us down and tear us up. You too need to know that there is hope, there is eternal life in Jesus. You don't want to live, live your life for Jesus. Place your faith in what he did on the cross on our behalf, dying for our sin, so that we could have eternal life, raising from the dead so that we could be justified. Eternal life is a gift for any and all who will simply receive it by placing their faith in Jesus. We may not always be where we want to be or in the physical condition that we want to be in. But God will use us no matter where we're at if we will simply submit our lives, our will, our plans to Him. On a regular basis, I hear from people via messages, I wish I could do videos. I wish I had a video ministry. And yet these same people are continually encouraging and praying for others around them. The Lord has gifted each of us in different ways by the power of His Holy Spirit according to His will. For His purposes, not ours, it's not about us. It's about Him using us for His glory, for the increase of His kingdom. And there are those of you who may not be making videos on YouTube and TikTok, but you are encouraging those who are. You're encouraging those around you who are weary. You are praying for those who have no hope. You are praying for those who don't know Jesus. And your work has eternal value. So whether you are sitting in your living room in a recliner 
or you're sitting in a rehab in a wheelchair with casts on both of your hands and in pain. God will use you for the increase of his kingdom. And there's nothing better than that. Do you know him? Oh, my friend, I pray that you do. If you don't, again, Jesus died on a cross for your sin. He shed his blood because there is no forgiveness of sin without the shedding of blood. He shed his blood for the remission, for the atonement, for the forgiveness and the cleansing of your sin. He died and rose again three days later. And if you will place your faith in what he did on your behalf, you will be saved. You will be forgiven and cleansed and given the free gift of eternal life. It's a gift. I pray it's a gift that you have received. Maranatha.